Um, this is just a very quick run through about who Vision 2020 UK are, just so in case you didn't know, um, and why we've organised this event. So, we are Vision 20 UK, we are supporting the Right to Sight. This is um, part of the World Health Organisation um, 2002 project to eliminate avoidable blindness. We're still working on that, clearly. Um, but starting in 2002, we came about in 2003, we were the second part of Vision 2020 Australia, and uh, we are the umbrella organisation which leads collaboration and cooperation between organisations with an interest in eye health and sight loss. So that covers a very wide range of people, clearly, everybody from the Royal College of Ophthalmologists um, all the way through to RLRB and guide dogs, etc., and College of Optometrists and various other people on the way, including more fields. So our whole purpose is collaboration and bringing people together, which is, this is an excellent example of. So our mission is to lead the collaboration of interested organisations in order to improve the eye health of the UK, prevent avoidable sight loss, and ensure the inclusion and participation of people who have impaired vision in society. You will probably recognise those three headlines as the three headlines of the UK Vision Strategy, which is what we're all working towards. So the UK Vision Strategy is the strategy of Vision 2020 UK. The whole point of the Vision 2020 projects around the world is for every country to have their own strategy to support these, really, these three obvious outcomes, which is the improvement of eye health and making sure people who actually have any problems with eye have actually, are able to participate in society as normal members of society, it's the whole purpose. So how are we achieving this? Well, facilitating member engagement. We have roughly 50 members, which involves most of the people with insight loss nationally in the UK. So this is a good example of facilitating member engagement. We create standard and improve quality. This is something Paul will be talking about later in looking at standards for, the, for people with uh, sight loss in the eye clinic. And we influence change. I'm really hoping that today we'll all go away with something that we didn't know before and we'll be able to influence change on the people we're dealing with. I, I say about dementia and sight loss that if we can influence and make somebody one person's life better who's got dementia and sight loss, then that's brilliant. And we've achieved something of our goal, but we aim a heck of a lot higher. Our end point is creating a unifying voice, creating a community free from the impact of sight loss. Now that is a very high level achievement, we're not going to get there, <coughs> it's, it's almost impossible, but if you don't aim high, you never get anywhere at all. That's as much as you really need to know about Vision 2020 UK right now, please do go to our website, there's all sorts of resources and things on there, obviously the Dementia and Sight Loss Committee has its own little parts of that, and again there's resources, useful information, but thank you very much for listening and I hope you have an excellent day.